Hmm, a sweet, meek uh, girl like this. Blowing a courthouse uh, to bits. Uh, blowing a courtroom to bits. I must say, it's uh, very hard to believe. Oh, shit. Now, now, your honor. Don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you. The defendant had a motive for committing this crime. She has. That's not true. I don't and uh, I don't have any kind of motive. And I didn't even know the lady who was killed. Killed or murdered? Well, actually, it's better to call her, you know, killed because if you were gonna call her murdered, then uh. The eyes are gonna be on you. I admit the investigation didn't turn up uh, any connection between the victim and the, de and the defendant. However, that doesn't matter. What do you mean that doesn't matter? What do you mean that doesn't matter? Isn't there some sort of a... Didn't we talk about a, that there was a motivation behind killing her? Or maybe there is the, the motivation was b behind... Uh, blowing up the bomb and, uh, you know, and the casualties uh, wasn't really that necessary. The only thing that does uh, uh, is that... The only thing that does is that her objective was the destruction of courtroom number four itself. Damn! <laughs> Even uh, Widget is angry. Making the angry face. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why in the world would Miss Woods want to do that? <laughs> That's a very good question, coming from a novice such as yourself. But first, a question, a question for the defendant. Have you ever been brought up uh, on false charges? What? W why, yes. Yes, I have. And did that experience cause you to uh, harbor a grudge against the court system? Objection. Now wait just a minute. If that kind of thing was a motive for blowing things up, then everyone uh, of our clients would turn into bombers. That's a valid point. N not really. It's not really a valid point. We wouldn't have a single uh, courthouse left standing in the land. I can see the accused isn't the only one who might bear resentment against the courts. But Miss Woods is the only person who could have committed this crime. Do you have evidence? Why? Because we have found some decisive evidence that proves the defendant the defendant's guilt. Decisive, huh? I believe it when I see it. It involves a very unique aspect of the bomb itself, your honor. A unique aspect? And what exactly was so unique about it? Hmm. Why don't we have uh, Miss Sykes answer that question? Uh, what do you mean by that? Huh? Me? I noticed that you, uh, appear to be very nervous and, well, gentleman that I am, <laughs> I'd like to offer you the chance to gain some confidence with such an easy question. Could he be any more, uh, condescending? Really, what a thoroughly unpleasant man. Unpleasant man. L is for loser. She didn't say that, though. Harumph! Harumph? What the what the hell what the hell is a harumph? What did it, what did it just say? Uh, Widget uh, said, "Hold that L." Uh, still, <laughs> we're the ones uh, we're the ones that uh, holding uh, the L at the moment. Uh, nothing, not a single thing. Now let's see, what was I supposed to to do at a time like this? Uh. I'm gonna check on this. So what's uh, uh What's unique about this? Guilty? There's an elephant with horns and a paintbrush. 
looking angry. That's about it. Uh. Oh, I know. The court record. I mean, I checked on it. The information I need is somewhere in the court record. All right, Miss Sykes, let's hear your answer. What was unique about the bomb that uh, blew up and uh, blew up the courtroom? Was it uh, because it was in a Paul's briefcase in the judge's pocket inside a stuffed animal? Yeah, pretty much <laughs> in the judge's pocket. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we're gonna get penalized if we pick the wrong answer. So, uh, I'm gonna pick this one, just for, uh, for laughs. The bomb was... in your honor's pocket! Miss Sykes! What in Sam hell are you talking about? <laughs> well, I tried to picture myself as the bomb. If I was in your pocket, you'd surely bring uh, me into the courtroom, naturally. The, the only things in my pocket are pictures of my grandchild. I would hardly have a bomb in there. <laughs> no, of course not. That would be silly, now wouldn't. Wouldn't it? <laughs> I think I'd better take another good look through uh, the court record. Huh? Well, I guess that's that. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, oh, what if we pick up Paul's briefcase? Let's see. I believe it was because it was in Mr. Justice's briefcase. Don't tell me you uh, instead claim that it was uh, Mr. Justice who committed the bombing. Huh? I wonder if this is some sort of a uh, foreshadowing. Because if I remember correctly from the events of the uh, Apollo Justice game, like, uh, I think, uh, like the, uh, I think the idea or the, uh, or the main plot, especially in the, in the uh, later, uh, cases were revolved around, uh, how flawed the, uh, the justice system is. So, huh. I wonder if this is gonna be some sort of a, you know, foreshadowing. What? No, of course not. I just thought maybe he brought it uh, to the courtroom by mistake. What's with this weird ass face? Would you smiling too? What kind of person makes a mistake like that? What in the world am I blathering on about? Alright, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Is the game gonna pick uh, the option for me? Uh, that would be funny. Alright, let's uh, pick the right option. Inside the stuffed animal. Mr. Payne, what kind of simpleton do you, <laughs> you take me for? It was stuffed inside a stuffed animal. Redundancy. It's evil intentions covered by a cute exterior. I don't... I won't call this thing uh, cute, really. Yeah, that's, that doesn't look cute at all. <laughs> Very good. Have a cookie. What? Uh, are we gonna get a cookie? The mom that went off in the courtroom... Uh, was indeed hidden inside a stuffed animal. Damn smile face too on widget. There, how do you like me? Uh, how do you like that? Not bad, huh? I am fine, just like I said from the start. I can do this. Yes, as I recall, the bomb was stuffed inside a stuffed animal, and the whole time redundancy. I never even got uh, to take a look at it. But, uh, what connection does this, uh, impish elephant have uh, with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence, which I have here. What the hell? A tail? And what, pray tell, is this? It appears to be, uh, a little 
little singed or a little singed? Singed. It's a tale, your honor. The tale of a poor victim of the explosion. Uh, that dummy is not a victim. This is incredible! Are you saying it's a detective arm's tale? <laughs> your, very, uh, your honor is so very close, but no, it belongs to the stuffed animal. It's called the Phony Fanty. Phony Fanty? A rather unpleasant name, if you ask me. Mm. He's the mascot of a campaign to eliminate false evidence and false charges. Is he not? Interesting. Exactly. His motto is, photo evidence is just trunked up. <laughs> okay. That's so wrong on so many levels, I agree. The Phony Fanty's tail is made of uh, vinyl cloth. And we found something very interesting on its surface. The defendant's fingerprints. How? Fingerprints on... How can you find fingerprints on goddamn cloth? What? The phony Fanti provided the, prosecu the prosecution with all the evidence we needed. It clearly proves that the accused handled the bomb. Ah! <laughs> to the eyes? But that doesn't make any sense. Why would Juni's fingerprints be on it? I mean, she could have touched it. That's a coincidence. Hmm. That does appear to be pretty uh, uh, irrefutable evidence. No, it's not. The court accepts it uh, into evidence. A phony fanty tale added to the court record. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at it uh, before I read this entry. A piece of the stuffed animal that the bomb was uh, inserted into. The defendant's fingerprints were found on it. Uh, I actually didn't check if she was wearing uh, gloves or anything. Uh, I mean, uh, Juni, Juniper. Miss Woods, do you have any? Uh, do you have an explanation for this? She's not wearing gloves. Well, her fingers are not covered. I I don't understand. Cough, cough. How about you, Miss Sykes? Uh-oh. Do you have any plausible explanation uh, to refute this decisive uh, piece of evidence? I don't think so. Not really. Other than, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, how can we be sure that uh, this came from uh, from the bomb itself? Well, I, uh, I mean, from the uh, from the uh, from the doll that was uh, that was uh, you know that had the bomb inside it. Maybe there was another doll. I can't do it. I can't think of a single thing. But I'd better come up with something, for Juni's sake. If you can't, uh, if you can't produce, if you can't, pr if you can't produce an answer, we could always go straight to the ruling, if you prefer. Uh, no, I have to say something fast. Oh no. I can't get my voice to work! Why now, of all times? What does that even mean? And what happened to Widget? He went dark! Wait, does she actually need Widget to talk? She some have some sort of a condition? What? Well, 
I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm still not ready to stand in court. Ah, oh, God, she has some sort of a... Like a problem or something. Like a trauma. Oh, cutscene. Yeah, Widget is uh, black. Whoa, blood. A pool of blood. A samurai sword. As you can see, there is no room for debate. Objection! Why, it's you! Oh, shit! The motherfucking G himself! Are we gonna play as him? Oh, we're gonna play as him! Sorry it took me so long to get here, Athena. Phoenix, motherfucker, right! Apollo explained the whole thing uh, to me over the phone. He asked me to come help you out in in his place. Yeah, you're not gonna. I don't think anyone actually had the uh, <laughs> people didn't believe in uh, Athena. Thanks for coming. I had to admit it, but I was having a real uh, rough time on my own. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine, all things considered. And you hung in there, uh, giving me enough time to get here. Now, let's turn things around. <laughs> you got it, boss. Oh, she works for Phoenix, right? Is that it? We don't have an entry for, uh... We don't have an entry for, uh... For Phoenix Royal, but we did get an, uh, a different entry for the badge. That's actually a cool touch. Uh, also, we got an entry for Athena. It's uh, my all-important badge. Proof of my profession. And we have an entry for Athena. She's 18? She's already a goddamn lawyer? That's uh, pretty impressive. A young rookie lawyer at our agency. She's also our client's friend. That's pretty impressive. Pretty useless, <laughs> but hey, uh, you need uh, the experience. People need the experience. Experience is really important. The experience is really important. And sometimes, as uh, someone that uh, employ uh, people, you, sh you should have some sort of a leeway to, uh, you know, uh, for those who don't have an experience. Oh. -ho. Look who showed up uh, out of the blue. <laughs> nice pun. If it isn't Mr. Phoenix Wright, you always managed to surprise me. What? Your Honor, Mr. Payne has called for an early ruling. But I believe there are still many things that need to be uh, de uh, deliberated. How did Miss Wood's fingerprints wind up on the stuffed animal's tail? How was the bob even de detonated? Until these questions are answered, I asserted I assert it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made. Hmm. You're absolutely right. Let's continue from where we left off. I assume you have no objection objections, Mr. Payne. <laughs> not not at all, uh, Your Honor. That's weird. You're not objecting to anything? Let's stop coughing, goddammit. Miss Woods really looks like she's having a hard time. June is really struggling, Mr. Wright. I get the sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Uh so uh, so are you, I guess. Because of yesterday? Yeah. It was understandably very tra traumatic for her. Poor thing. 
And here she is, back at the ho uh, court, ho uh, back at the courthouse again, being so brave. Unlike you, Athena. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If at all possible, I'd like to have Miss Woods uh, rest in the lobby. Huh? Shouldn't be, shouldn't her, shouldn't, shouldn't she be in the goddamn room at the very least? She shouldn't be taking a stand, but she should be in the room. Mm. Given the defendant's condition, very well. I grant special permission. You go get some. Uh, you go get some rest, Juni, and leave rest uh, the rest to us. Okay, thank you. Sorry about this. Ugh, stop coughing at me. Oh, the door is uh, in the back, actually. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's been a while, Mr. Payne. You're more clueless than I'd uh, than I'd heard. I do believe you mean. How do you do? Y he's not the same pain. He's uh, a different pain. I think there are a few brothers, pain brothers, if I remember correctly. For I am gasp in pain. <laughs> I am the younger brother of your uh, long-standing rival, Winston Payne. <laughs> What? Long-standing rival? When were we ever rivals, let alone long-standing? <laughs> You'll see, Mr. White. I will cleanse Winston's of the disgrace he met... Uh, he met with at your hands. <laughs> Looks like this uh, royal pain is going to be uh, as uh, thoroughly unpleasant as the other. In the ass? <laughs> Your Honor. The prosecution would now like to call a decisive witness to the stand. The witness will te will testify uh, as to how the uh, oh, as to how the accused detonated the bomb in the court in the courtroom. Very well. Please call your witness, Mr. Payne. Oh, goddamn SWAT team? Isn't this the same guy that we've seen earlier? Probably. Who the hell is this guy? Do we actually have information on him? Oh, now we have an entry here. Gasman Payne, the prosecution attorney. The younger brother of another prosecutor I know. This one lacks uh, presence, too. <laughs> what do you mean, lacks presence? Uh, is he gonna have uh, special entries for, uh, for Apollo? A young lawyer at my agency, yeah. Our client in this case, kind of a kind-hearted girl who loves nature. She apparently lives in a forest. The victim in this case, detective who was, uh, heading up the investigation, blah, blah, blah. We've read about, uh, Athena. And, uh, yeah, who the hell is this guy? Witness, your name and occupation, please. What the hell is this? Uh, witness? <laughs> really? His name is Detonate? Ted Tonate. Ted Tonate. Occupation, bomb disposal specialist. Oh my, what a strange robotic voice you have. Speech synthesis via typing is the same as me talking. Why is he not talking? Is he, uh... <laughs> is this, uh, his feelings? Arrogant jerk. He sounds exactly like a robot. Can't you speak, uh, in a normal manner? I can. He can! But I don't like to speak. Speaking is uh, inefficient. Uh, if you say so. 
<laughs> Energy expenditure. Speaking. Uh, better than typing. Understand. Or greater than typing. Understand. Hmm. What an odd witness. Mr. Tenate. Well, uh, Mr. Tenate was in charge of the bomb for the trial and was there when it went off. Uh, so, did he try to, uh, you know, to, uh, did he try to disable the bomb? Is that it? Being a bomb squad specialist, do you have any relation to the defendant? Negative. I first met the girl uh, while in this job. Many people are employed by the police. I know only a fraction of them. However, I was shocked when I first discovered the body of the victim. Shocked? I was the first one on the scene after the explosion. I went there to ensure safety, but I ended up discovering a dead body. Huh. He was the first. So he didn't actually witness... Uh... He didn't actually witness... Uh... Uh, Juniper, huh? So he's the first uh, to discover the body, was he? He is here to testify about the circumstances of surrounding the moment of the explosion. Very well. The court will hear Mr. Tenet's testimony. But at the very least, show this court uh, some respect and remove the, that face guard. Witness. Well... <laughs> Goggles? <laughs> Looks creepy. Witness testimony! When the bomb went off. Yeah, was this, uh, this guy is a goddamn, uh, uh, Sam Fisher. And we got, uh, the entry for this guy. Uh, Ted Tenate, a police, a police bomb specialist. He was in charge of handling the bomb that exploded in the courtroom. 42. 42 of age. Alright, let's hear him out. The bomb was originally disarmed by me, then transported here as evidenced. Okay. Bomb name HH3000, operated by timer or with a remote. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became alarmed. What the? <laughs> I saw that the bomb's uh, timer was counting down. So the bomb didn't detonate when he was there. So even though the bomb was uh, supposed to be d disarmed, it somehow got switched on? Precisely, activating the timer is very simple. One, connect wires. Two, switch on timer. A monkey could do it. I am sure even you would be able to, Mr. Wright. <laughs> uh, I guess this makes you uh, the blue monkey in the, in the barrel of fun, boss. Blue monkey. <clears throat> I'd uh, now like to begin my cross-examination. Huh? What's happening? Uh-oh. Uh, Mr. Tenate, what is that? That's a bomb. HH3000, aka a bomb. A bomb? <laughs> Yo! I, uh, Mr. Tenate, I demand that you disarm it this instant. Whoa. Yeah, that was fast. Disassembly complete. Ah, uh, he talked. Hmm. 5.3 seconds. Uh, 0.2 seconds short of my personal best. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I'm not exactly a spring chicken, you know. <laughs> you you sprung the hell out of there, though. This is an exact replica of the HH3000. Oh. It is used to... Uh, it is used to practice disarming bombers. Uh, pff, uh, disarming bombs. Disarm equal success, explosion equal failure. Naturally. 
an exact replica of the bomb that exploded, is it? So, that's uh, what it looked like. I submitted a photograph of the of the real bomb taken just before the trial. Wasn't it supposed to be inside? Dimensions. Uh, uh, the, these are inches. 10 inches height. Uh, 10 inches width. 10, uh, 10 inches di dimension. Weight. Uh, 12 pound. A perfect replication. Even in weight? That's interesting. Guilty? And the... Uh, the display, the LED is cracked. Your bomb does appear to be a very good uh, copy, indeed. Yes, however, uh, I couldn't replicate the uh, detonation mechanism. It has a very puzzling wiring setup. Uh, it is regrettable I couldn't uh, replicate it. Witness, that's enough. There's no need to replicate anything there. <laughs> HH-3000 bomb updated in the court rec record. Oh no, it's- we're not- We're not gonna get the bomb separately, it's gonna be, uh... You know, with the- with the goddamn doll? Uh, let me double check here. It was hidden inside a stuffed animal, and can be detonated remotely, and with a timer, too. So the time was, uh... 4 minutes to 9. Right? Dimensions? It's a cubic dimension. Five over sixteen inch alloy plating. That is something that I was never mentioned about its uh, plating. Okay. Interesting. That's very interesting. And now, if the defense would begin uh, their cross-examination, huh? Where has Mr. Sykes gone to? Oh, she was hiding from the bomb. <laughs> she still didn't pop up. Athena, you can come out now. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's get to work. <laughs> were you hiding because you were afraid? I guess you were pretty scared, huh? Uh, what? I don't know what you're talking about. She was about to bolt! <laughs> Goddamn widget the snitch! Hey, put a sock on it, widget! <sighs> as transparent as ever. Now, let's see. Where were we? I mean, can you not just, uh... <laughs> throw that thing out? That thing is useless! It's exposing your ass! We were at the cross-examination. Oh, cross-examination. Of course. She seems disoriented. I wonder if she's alright. Maybe I should ask Athena if she remembers uh, how to cross-examine. To, to help her focus. Uh, this is like uh, some sort of a tutorial. I'm, I'm gonna follow it, yeah. We're gonna see if, uh, what, this, what the game is gonna actually try to teach us how to... Uh, you know, how to cross-examine. Maybe it's th there's gonna be different, uh, something different in this game. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's indulge. I'm not gonna indulge her, I'm actually gonna ask her <laughs> if she actually knows how to do it. Um, Athena, you remember how to conduct a cross-examination, right? What? Uh, of course I do. What kind of lawyer would I be if I didn't? Now, now, don't get upset. But what do you say to uh, what do you say to humoring me with a little review? You got it. Bas basically, we examine a witness's testimony and compare it against court record. 
searching carefully for any inconsistencies or, I guess, contradictions. This green text represents uh, a witness's uh, testimony. Uh, over here. Uh, touch the right arrow to advance to the next statement of the testimony. Touch the left uh, arrow to, t uh, to go back to the previous testimony. Pay close attention to the testimony and when you found uh, an, an inconsistency, touch present to open the court record. The court record contains information of all the evidence we have at our disposal. You can use it to look uh, for facts that, conf con that conflict uh, with what the witness has said. When you, find some when you find something, present that evidence to refute the witness's statement. And what if nothing uh, conflicts with the witness's testimony? Well, that's when you press the witness for more information. Yeah, the, uh, the press mechanic. Where you uh, try to get to more information from every the statement. Damn, I'm <laughs> I'm glad that I'm uh, back playing this game again. This game is really fun. Find any inconsistencies or lies in the court testimony and reveal them in the, in the, to the court. That's what cross examination is all about. All right. Looks like you remember it uh, just as I thought it, and it was a nice refresh uh, course for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's with the jump of animation here? If you can't find any contradictions and you uh and you flub up too often, flub up. Flub up. What's flub up? Don't be afraid to, to ask me for help. Oh, that's a new mechanic, consult. Uh, tap the consult panel when it appears to, to consult with me. I'll let you know where I think uh, the suspicious sp statement is. This is actually new. This is a this is a new mechanic. I don't think this is something that was in the game before. Well, there was a, some sort of a mechanic. Every time you finish the, a statement, like when you go through all the statements and finish it, uh, like uh, uh, usually Phoenix Wright or, or whoever whoever character you're playing as will have some sort of a, a monologue or a thought. Uh, you know, some sort of a tip uh, to actually, you know, uh, to clarify what's the object, what's the objective or uh, the oddities of these statements. Sounds good. I'll be counting on you if I get uh, in a bind. All right, it's cross examination time. Cross examination. When the bomb went off. Uh, we have uh, the uh, the health gauge, or you, whatever you want to call it. This is uh, where you you know this is a, a way to limit you from actually like guessing, since you're uh, you're gonna actually have uh, access to all of the records. If you start guessing and not actually knowing uh, what you're trying to do, this is when uh, uh, you know this is uh, the way that the game penalizes you. Hey. You don't have to guess, you actually have to find out on your cell phone. If you make a mistake, uh, they're gonna take off uh, of your health gauge, quote-unquote health gauge. But when it uh, depletes, then uh, that's it for you, and the uh, the trial is gonna be over. A pretty simple uh, mechanics, really. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, cross-examine this uh, fool. The mom was originally disarmed by me. Then transported here as evidence. So uh, let me give you uh, my uh, my two cents. I think the problem here is that the fact that uh, he actually was uh, he he actually arrived at, at the scene and the bomb was uh, still intact. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna press him on this one. Hold it! Hold it! You say that you disarmed the bomb, but are you really sure it was disarmed? Absolutely, I can disarm anything. In a flash. Damn. It's pretty good. Ugh. It looks so more like uh, dismantle than disarm to me. 
true. Oh, pardon me. Hmm. Let's see. Is there any chance you could have forgotten to disarm the bomb? Impossible. I don't make uh, rudimentary mistakes uh, like that. Is that so? They say to err is human. Although the jury is still out on this guy. <laughs> you think he's a robot? No, I think he's a... <laughs> he's human. <laughs> if you must know, Mr. Wright, according to the court's own records, the fact that the bomb had indeed been disarmed was officially confirmed. Huh. Hmm, I guess I can rule out the possibility that he forgot to disarm it. Could you talk a bit, uh, about the bomb? Can you talk about the bomb in a little more detail for the court, Mr. Tenate? Certainly. Bomb name, HH-3000. Operated by timer or with a remote. Holding. Let's press him here. What was the appro approximate size and weight uh, of the bomb? Dimension, 10, 10, 10. Weight, 12 pounds. This information is also written on the photograph. Uh, but he didn't talk about the... Uh... There was another information here. Ah, oh, yes. Here it is, on the back. According to this, the case is made of, out of alloy... Yeah, the alloy plating. Uh, 5 16th uh, of... 5 16th of uh, an inch thick. 5... 16th, okay. How much is that? Uh, that's, uh... One four is, uh, a quarter. A quarter of a quarter of a quarter, right? Uh, multiply, multiplied by five, so... That certainly sounds like, uh, one thick and very heavy bit of metal. Ah, heavy. I bet if I dropped that thing uh, on your foot, you'd be hopping. If you dropped that thing uh, anywhere, I'd be hopping uh, for the nearest exit. <laughs> Very well, I believe the court has heard enough about the bomb itself. So, Mr. Tenate, you were keeping an eye on the bomb? Uh, where were you watching from? So, I guess we established that the bomb is heavy. So, hmm. Interesting. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became al uh, alarmed. Why were you in the gallery? My two days might have been over uh, uh, for, for the moment, but I wanted to keep watch. Even though the bomb was disarmed, you can never be too careful. Huh. Explosive devices are very dangerous things. Ah, oh, how admirably responsible of you. A model to be emulated. <laughs> I don't know about that. I practice disarming bombs every day. I practice assembling them too. Huh. The disarming part I get, but assembling them. Well, I'll have you know that I practice presenting evidence every day myself. Um. Okay. I see. But do you ever practice having evidence presented to you? Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> presented to me? What? No, I. Then you cannot very well call yourself a professional yet, can you? Wow. Gah! That doesn't. I'm gonna start practicing having it as evidence presented to me every day. How does that even work? And for what purpose? You'd better uh, drink some coffee, boss. We're going. To, uh, we're going. We're gonna pull. Uh, we're gonna be pulling all an all nighter. What? Uh, this is not gonna help at all. Uh, I don't think that will be necessary. Or worth uh, either of our time. 
So, Mr. Tenate, what did you witness from the gallery? I saw that the bomb's timer was counting down. The, mo the bomber's timer was counting down. Interesting. You saw it counting down clearly with your own eyes? I'd hardly think a timer as small as the, the one on this bomb could be seen from the gallery. These goggles help me uh, see every small things... Uh, help me see very small things clearly from very far away. I can see even... I can even see what you had for breakfast by looking at your tie. What? A burger? <laughs> a hamburger? Or was it sushi? Why do I suddenly feel like a, a bug under... A bug under a magnifying glass? Hmm. I guess it's possible he saw the timer if he was wearing those goggles. Was he? I'm not so sure. There's something that just doesn't sit right with me. Hmm? I don't think I follow. Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, about that... Uh, the fact that... Uh, uh, he didn't mention that the, uh, the display was cracked. The bomb was completely hidden inside the stuffed animal. So well concealed, in fact, that it didn't even uh, look like a bomb, at all, a bomb at all. So yeah, how the hell did he actually see it? Yeah, I forgot the fact that uh, that it was concealed inside. But he's like he mentioned that he saw the bomb. I I assumed that the bomb was out. Is that a fact? It was hidden inside the stuffed animal. And can be detonated remotely, yeah. So it wasn't out. Huh. So you're trying to find testimony that conflict uh, with the evidence, right? That's right. Listening carefully to uh, Mr. Tanit's testimony is just uh, the first step. After that, it's a matter of taking a look uh, at any evidence that seems relevant. Remember that you can uh, touch present uh, when you want to open the court record. Yeah, I know, I know. If you find evidence that conflicts uh, with the testimony, present it. Let's see. This testimony is about uh, when the bomb went off. So I think that... Uh, so I think that uh, what stated was in... I think that uh, what stated was in... Uh, uh, let me read that again. So I think that what state it was in uh, uh, in uh, what state it was in at the time would be uh, pretty important. That's a mouthful. A bomb that didn't look like a bomb because it was inside a stuffed animal, huh? Yeah, that's pretty clear. How the hell did he manage to? Uh... How the hell did he know that there was a bomb inside that uh, doll? So that's the idea. 